when I was in high school, at first I had no idea what I was going to do. And when they told us about the program, they only really talked about the money. So I was uninterested and I had no plans in pursuing the paper business. And then I went to class in chemistry and my teacher really said that I should at least go to the paper mill and check it out and stuff like that. And that he thought it would really be something I'd be good at. And so when I went on a tour to Safi, it was really amazing. I loved the machines and like it was I had to be a paper maker. <laughs> <laughs> Maine's paper industry has for decades been a major economic engine in rural Maine. Maine is the second leading paper maker state by volume, producing more paper than any state other than Wisconsin. Maine's paper production has consistently increased since 1990, and in recent years, Maine has produced more paper than ever before. Kennebec Valley Community College's Pulp and Paper Program provides graduates with the basic technical background to be effective employees in the pulp and paper industry. Hi, I'm Monty Henderson. I'm the uh, coordinator for Kennebec Valley Community College's Pulp and Paper Technology Program. The college has been providing this program now for almost 20 years and it's highly valued by both industry and by the students. The industry values this program because it provides them highly qualified, skilled employees as people retire from the industry. Students value it because it provides excellent jobs in the exciting pulp and paper industry, the highest paying jobs in the entire state of Maine. What I do right now is called a assistant utility and I basically take the roles that aren't needed for the customer, like extra paper, and I, it's called broke, and I cut it down and I put it into the pulper so we can repulp it and use it again. What would you be doing if you were working today? I would be down to the drum debacle. Um I would be a wood crew member where you basically clean the, clean the back and start clean back off the floor and the complete program consists of 22 courses, eight of which are technology courses designated PPT courses. Uh, they consist of things like intro to pulp and paper technology, paper making, pulping, safety, maintenance. I've taken pulp and paper cl technology classes. Those helped me the most and a lot of math cl classes and writing. I think what helped me the most is the uh, the pulp and paper. The pulp and paper overview. The two classes that helped me the most is probably the introduction to pulp and paper and the paper making process, which goes through the whole end to finish from cut you know cutting the tree down to you know shipping it out as paper. The remainder of the courses are called general education courses and. General education courses either support the technology courses or they have value on their own merit. For example, you have to take college algebra in order to take chemistry and you need the chemistry before you can take pulping. On the other hand, you will take a course called interpersonal communications because companies value employees' ability to communicate and work with peers and superiors in a team environment. I like everything about my job. I like the people. They're great. Oh, the people, probably mostly. A lot of, you know, you become friends with a lot of the people you work with and, you know, you get used to talking to them and, you know, your work time go by a lot quicker because 12 hours is a pretty long shift. Last year, the college was pleased to be a recipient of a Department of Agriculture grant. This grant helps us to make our program more available, more attractive to students, particularly in rural areas. The main features of this grant include one 
funding is provided to help students pay for these courses. Half the tuition is covered for many of the courses that students are required to take. Secondly, the grant provides tutoring and support for students to help them become comfortable with college level studies. There's a job out there for anybody really, like labor and desk jobs in the lab. The school is something nobody can take away from you once you got, you know, once you got the education you got it. There's all kinds of different jobs. I mean, there's not, it's not like there's only one job available at the mill. You got many different parts of the mill, like you got shipping, you got the wet end of the machine, whereas, you know, more of computer work and chemical, you got the lab, and there's just so many possibilities, so many avenues to travel, you're not just confined to making the dry end of the paper.